It's race day at the Amgen Tour of California. Today, the team conquers stage one, starting and finishing in Sacramento. Before the start of the stage, the riders gather on the team bus to go over strategy of how to best approach the flat, fast stage with what should be a sprint finish. Let's do it. Tour California, stage one, Sacramento. We're not worried about the early break. We're just getting through the day, passing the first day, no ups, no crashes, stay safe. Uh, I want you guys riding together. I know it's kind of a kind of an off day, but again, like we talked about all all week, we cannot have ups where we lose time. Emerson, Nigel, you guys are on bottle duty. If the guys need drinks, come back. I know Rob, you've done it a few times where there's been gaps and stuff like that. Any any wisdom on uh, the circuit here? The last like a lap is 3K, right? So three until you're really on, so now. until you're like through corner one on the last lap, like you're racing for real time. So if it happens like. You hit the panic button and like you get up to the next group because they go real fast and if you don't fix it right away, you're not getting back on. So basically if Brandon gets caught behind a group, like it's like you ride as hard as you possibly can until you get him back up. You never know how the race is going to unfold. Stage two going up to Lake Tahoe and then stage three over Mount Hamilton. There's a lot of points on those two days and so that's where it'll really heat up. This is one of the most fearsome stages in all of professional cycling. It just goes up and up and up. I try to stay off the radio as much as I can. Actually, you know, the guys don't want to hear somebody yakking in their ear when they're suffering up a mountain. They just got to pedal their bikes sometimes. But the key information is if, if there's any change to the race, like who's up the road, how, what the gap is. Rob, Evan, uh, George Bennett, and Iguita are 20 seconds back, and then the Peloton is 30 seconds back. Anybody need anything other than bottles? Just bottles, anything else? Some more solid food. Let me just give you a couple more here, and then I'll let you go. Come on. Uh, I need to talk to Rob. Let me just toss you a bottle, and then I'll get you going. Hey, the races are certainly dynamic, you know, this we set a general plan, but things do change. They usually change. So if we, I didn't want to say it over the radio, but if we have any issues, we're going to swap the bikes. If he has an issue, we're just going to put his saddle in your spare. That's but if true. whatever, if you need a spare, then we'll just have to figure something out. But That's just okay. so you know. So if, if Brandon actually needs a spare, it's just, you know what I mean? We're just going to need to know quick and uh, have a look. Okay. Anything else? I'm good, thanks. Okay. All right. In each stage, riders have an opportunity to refuel with solid foods and rehydrate in the feed zone. When we get to the finish, we're going to grab a podium bag, fingers crossed, um, <clears throat> and finish cooler, which has recoveries, waters, Fantas, basically just a plethora of drinks um, to give them once they cross the finish line. While the support car makes their way to the finish, Evan Huffman is making a daring charge for the blue jersey. The yellow jersey may be the most famous in cycling, but the blue jersey is awarded to the most courageous rider. Keep going, Evan, keep going! Two, number 64. Yeah. Number 64. Evan Huffman. Evan Huffman of Team Morelli UHC, who's currently requested to show up to the podium ceremony as quickly as possible after the stage. Nice work up there, eh? You got the most courageous jersey today. Good work, buddy. Bob, you know, number one, Muscon, he's the strongest. Let that guy do the work. Be patient up there, Rob. Second for the man second place could be special. That was a win today. The Rally UHC women begin the most difficult climb of their season to the summit of Mount Baldy. Team director Zach Bell has been preparing the riders all year for this stage, and it's taking every reserve of energy to conquer the 16% gradient pitch. Good job. 
gap up to 25 seconds, 25 seconds. We gotta kinda gamble because I, if we try and slip Christabel into one of those and then it doesn't work, she's gonna use a lot of bullets. Come on, Krista, just get to your rhythm, stick to your rhythm. A lot can happen in the last few hundred meters here. Just stick to it. Come on, push, you can do this. Start to squeeze that little bit extra out if you can. This is where you gotta do it, come on. Keep squeezing. Come on, Krista, keep pushing, right to the finish. Those athletes like that are mentally tough and mentally resilient and they can just weather the punches and weather the punches and like not really get stressed or not really, you know what I mean, let that stress soak in because if you can like allow that stuff to slide off, like the physical stress is a given, but kind of how you choose to respond to that mental piece and if you're super resilient and tough about it, you're like, I'm just really not gonna let that stress me. After a week of grinding on California's epic terrain, a finish at the Rose Bowl will be the ultimate prize.